Well, hello, lovelies. It's been a hot minute since I vlogged the last time. And for some reason I get super awkward when I've had sort of a break from vlogging. But I just, I've been so tired. I'm still very, very pregnant. And we have about four and a half weeks left until the due date, so. <sighs> it's now Wednesday. Uh, Michael's gone this week with work. Yesterday, I pretty much ate and slept all day. So I have a little bit of cleaning to do. So I'm gonna do that now. It is now 11 p.m. So I've just gotten into bed. I'm gonna read a little bit. I tried <laughs> to watch Pet Cemetery, the new movie adaptation. And I figured out really quickly, well, about half an hour into it, that watching that alone in this apartment after everything is dark outside and it's super quiet, not a good idea. <laughs> so I ended up pausing it. I'm probably gonna continue watching it tomorrow during the day. I mean, I love horror books, but horror movies, they scare me and they give me nightmares. So, so I'll give you a little bit of an update on my reading and I know the background here is different from when I've usually vlogged from our bedroom and that's because we've switched bedrooms in this apartment. So these are decorations that I made for Leander when he was a bit younger and I'm gonna take them down. We're gonna keep them for the day we have a house to put it in but for now they're gonna go down and we're gonna put something else on the walls in here. But yes, a little bit of a reading update. As I showed you, I am listening to Disloyal. Uh, it's called The True Story of the Former Personal Attorney to President Donald J. Trump by Michael Cohen. So far it's really interesting how this man is still looked up to by so many people, I have no idea. But yeah, interesting to listen to uh, and I'll give you more of my thoughts when I've gotten further along with it. I've listened to almost four hours of it and we've just gotten to the part where he has started his presidential campaign. And already it is just mind-boggling how someone can get away with so much hate and racism and just total disregard of other people's lives. I, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. But for now I'm gonna read a little bit. I am currently reading The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Straub. I'm on page 318. This is a chunker. It's a, it's a small book, but it's a chunker. It's about 700 and something pages. So yes, I feel like I've been reading this book for forever and I don't know what it is. I think I'm in a bit of a reading slump and I, I just struggle to get super invested and just read for hours and hours like I usually do. So I read a little bit here and there, uh, but I feel like I've been reading it forever. So far, it's interesting, enjoyable. I keep feeling that the boy Jack is acting way too old for his age, but then again, he's going through a lot, so 
I mean, how fast do you grow up when you're 12 years old and you have to travel between worlds to try to save your mom and a queen from dying? So yes, I'm going to read a little bit and then I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. It is Friday. Um, yesterday did not go as planned. I was feeling really tired and I needed a lot of extra sleep just because I didn't sleep well the night before. Today I got up, I didn't sleep very well this night either. I had a doctor's appointment, just a regular checkup. Um, everything is fine. Uh, she's, she's lying head down, so that's good. Um, there's only about four weeks left, so really it could be happening any time. They say from week 37 until week 41 is like the normal time to give birth, and next week is week 37, so we're getting into the home stretch. Um, but yes, I had plans for today to be productive and film a couple of videos before Michael get home. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I'm having, uh, I don't think they're contractions. I think they're just Braxton Hicks, which are uh, practice contractions, but they're still quite uncomfortable. Uh, and there's not much to do, but just breathe and power through, so. Right now I'm just relaxing on the couch and yeah, we'll see what happens. Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday. We were getting ready to go for our morning walk. It started pouring outside. So this little guy curled up on the couch and we're just waiting for it to calm down and hopefully it will. <laughs> So I finally got around to taking a creative photo for Instagram, which I've been meaning to do for a few days, but I've just been too tired and my body is prepping for labor, so... <sighs> Some days I'm just not a functioning human being. By the way, don't mind the messy kitchen that needs to be cleaned and tidied up, but yeah. So here is the photo that I took today. This is the before and this is the after. So just a subtle change, just doing some edits and color and shading just to make it pop a little more. So yeah. <laughs> plus four and I feel like I'm about to explode I mean I'm huge <laughs> yes um, we're in week 37 now so 
anything can happen. Um, if something starts to happen now, that'll be fine. Like, she should be totally fine. Uh, but then again, it could be another four or five weeks. So, we'll see. Good morning. It is Friday. Uh, the plan for today, we are uh, heading down to our hometown where we bought our new car, which I've completely forgotten to talk about or even show you. I did film a little bit from the day we were going to get our new car. Uh, and then I just, I got wrapped up in everything. I was very excited about it. I've never owned a completely new car in all my life, so getting some grown-up points here. But we switched our cute little Suzuki Swift for an MG Set S E V, which is a fully electric car. Uh, I'm really excited about that. I've been wanting to have an electric car instead of a fossil fuel car for a long time, but I just didn't think it was possible where we live right now, but it, it is, it was. <laughs> so now we own this beautiful new car and really happy about it. So far it's been, it's, it's been just a joy to drive with. Uh, it's super comfy. It has everything we need, but there's a, a plastic part within the car that was a bit scratched when it was delivered. So they ordered a new part. So we have to drive down, down there and give them the car so they can fix that. We'll get a rental while they do it and we'll go have lunch with my dad and then drive back home afterwards. So that is pretty much the plan for today. <laughs> That's a few tidbits of what's been going on for the last couple of weeks. I know this vlog is very inconsistent and all over the place as I'm getting back to it. That's what life is right now. It's just all over the place. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell button if you haven't already so you'll get notified when I post a new video. And I will see you again in a video soon. Bye!